We are recognizing our rights have known for a while now that cops in Connecticut are some of the worst. But I really have to say that this state trooper in particular is a great representation of American cops overall. His interaction with this guy who committed the forbidden act of free speech when he gave him the bird really is... I don't want to say the most disturbing interaction, as that would be completely disregarding Philip Brailsford publicly executing Daniel Shaver in Mesa, Arizona, but it's pretty damn close. Not only because of this guy's behavior, but because of everybody's reaction to this video that really angers me. Now I unfortunately cannot find with the original channel that uploaded this, but I will put a link down below to the full original video for all of you to see. Now with all that being said, let me provide some context. This interaction took place on May 18, 2020 in New Haven, Connecticut, when Trooper Matthew Spina of the Connecticut State Police was on highway patrol and looking for drivers to give tickets to, assuming they were breaking the law. He was about to pull over somebody speeding when somebody else decided to drive by him and give him the bird on the freeway. Way. In which case, Trooper Matthew Spina decides to pull that guy over instead. And this is the interaction that happens right then and there. Hey, can I just ask you why you're riding their butt like that and speeding, man? I'm running his license plate because everybody yeah. else is speeding. Why are you speeding? I was only going 60. Speed limit's 40. 50. The signs. Okay. Bye bye. Do All right. A favor. Oh, give me the weed, too. No, I, I have a oh, I, oh, 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 yeah, I have a marijuana card. Step out. I have a card. Step out. All right, all right, stop, man. You want to run your mouth? No problem. You came to the right guy. Step out. All Come right, on. all right, stop. Come on. The blue car yeah, which one? was tailing me yeah. while I was pacing a tractor trailer looking for a motor vehicle violation because okay. the governor's office has gotten multiple complaints yeah. on traffic stops. I know. Okay? I know that. So we're out doing our thing. Okay. He Just decides to pass me and flip me off! All right, Spina, I'm sorry. Man. All right? Yeah, I'm sorry. So the f do you think you are worried about what I'm doing? Okay. You're right. I know I'm right, God damn it! Everyone's got something to say. Mind your own goddamn business. You're speeding. How about I start with that? No shit. I was following that kid for a reason. And if you hadn't done that stupid stunt, I'd be with him right now. But no, you just couldn't leave it alone, could you? You had to be a American. God help you if there's anything illegal in this car. Is it in the original dispensary container? What? It's broken. Is it in the original dispensary container? No. Then you're f***ed. How's that sound? No s***. Mind your own business next time. Yeah, it's called shut the f*** up. I was driving along, I was going to head through a simple citation that I keep, but no. you got to be... Just couldn't f shut your mouth. Where are you going anyway? Where do you work? Where? What's that? It's a, Paper? Yeah, you know, like the liquor bottles and stuff that the, the shit comes in, like the trays. You ever heard of what a heat seeker is? No. A heat seeker is something that draws attention to itself. Heat seeking missiles, they go for the heat. Sit the f down. Did I tell you to move? No, sorry. Why am I speed? I'm doing my job. Connecticut General Statute 14 298 allows law enforcement officers to disregard the traffic laws in the performance of their duties. How the f am I going to catch a speeder if I'm not speeding? You like your job at NASA with physics? Trooper Spina claims that this driver was speeding, even though they were really going the same speed on the freeway. And he also claims that just because he's a police officer, he gets to disregard traffic laws, making him a sovereign citizen. Now we don't want you to take anything we say as legal advice, but the Connecticut Penal Code that this officer refers to is Section 14-283, which goes over the rights of emergency vehicles. Now in subsection B of his penal code, it talks about all the traffic violations that emergency vehicles are exempt of. However, 
in subsection A that specifically includes any state or local police vehicle operated by a police officer or inspector of the Department of Motor Vehicles answering an emergency call or in the pursuit of fleeing law violators or any Department of Correction vehicle operated by a Department of Correction officer while in the course of such officer's employment and while responding to an emergency call. It means that this officer is in fact not exempt from the law unless he is responding to an emergency situation. So like I said, he is a sovereign citizen, claiming that he can disregard the law just because he's a police officer. And that statement alone is an excellent representation of what cops in general are like in America. They think they're above the law, and this guy proves it. It just never f***ing ends in this f***ing job. I got 14 months. I can't f***ing wait to be done. This ought to tell you why our department, instead of having 1,300 as 850 right now, there's a f***ing clue to the public what a bunch of assholes you are. Right there. You want it on paper or not? Well, it's Is it in the original dispensary container? No sh Turn around. Everything across you make ready to go out. You think I'm kidding? You think I'm kidding? Look at me. Do I look like I'm happy with you right now? Shut your mouth, mind your own business, and be on your way. Don't you ever with me again. This trooper literally stated, don't ever F with me again. To me, that sounds like a threat, but that's just me. I really have to say that this driver did get off lucky because worst case scenario, he probably could have lost his life to this ticking time bomb. Even better, he never even got a ticket for this, which likely means that the state trooper realized that the guy wasn't speeding. But you want to know who actually was breaking the law in this moment? You obviously know the answer I'm going to give to that. So let's list down all the laws that this state trooper broke. Connecticut Penal Code 53A-181, where it states that a person is guilty of breach of the peace in the second degree when with intent to cause inconvenience, annoyance, or alarm, or recklessly creating a risk thereof, such person engages in fighting or in violent, tumultuous, or threatening behavior in a public place. 53A-116, Connecticut makes it a crime to intentionally damage, destroy, or deface another person's property valued at more than $250. It didn't seem like there was anything damaged that was over $250 in this video, but I'd still consider this destruction of property. Violation of Title 18, Section 242, simply because this guy decided to give him the bird, which is freedom of speech. Not to mention his complete and utter disregard for the fact that this is legal in Connecticut, which is why there are dispensaries in that state. Oh yeah, that's also not to mention a complete and utter disregard for the guy's Fourth Amendment rights from search and seizure. Because he did not get ticketed, and this cop literally admitted that he was pulled over for giving him the bird. Now the state police commander, Colonel Stavros Melekas, whose name I probably butchered, said that the trooper was moved to paid administrative duty with no contact with the public pending an internal affairs investigation. Now, I don't know how this internal affairs investigation went, and I don't even know if this trooper got fired without a pension. But you want to know what I find the most disturbing about this interaction? Nothing from the interaction itself, but people's responses to it. Let me read off some of the comments on YouTube of the whole variety of channels that highlighted this. This made my morning. This cop is absolutely incredible. Hell yes. And notice he's still professional even while losing it. He even extended the courtesy of not taking the punk to jail when he had the legal grounds to do so. Yet he let him walk. This is a seasoned professional. It's a shame more cops aren't like him. I'm with the cop on this one. This guy is great. Amazing cop work. Keep it up. Great state trooper. Loved it. Stay safe out there. We need more like you. God help you if there's anything illegal in this car. Yes. I thought I was gonna hate this cop. He's hilarious. All that and still didn't issue a ticket. LMAO. Best cop. Gotta love it. Cop pulls guy over. Guy asks, Officer, can you explain why you were speeding? I really like this officer. Straight to the point. This was actually two years ago. He stated he was 14 months away from retirement. Hope he made it without stroking out. They aren't worth it. Yeah, I wanted to point that out too. He was 14 months away from retirement as he blatantly yelled out loud in this video. Which I think obviously means that he does not care about his job. All he cares about is his paycheck. Look, I get that being a police officer is a stressful job, and I don't want to even imagine what it's like. But I don't care what way you look at this, his behavior is truly unacceptable. The fact that people supported this, 
is the most disturbing thing. How can anyone stand with this officer's behavior? It makes no sense. He completely disregarded this man's rights over his own ego and feelings. And I sincerely hope that he never got his pension after retirement. He absolutely does not deserve it, given the behavior he's displayed on camera. Of course, this is just my opinion. What do all of you think about the unacceptable behavior from this state trooper? Please do let us know in the comments down below. And don't forget that we'll be leaving a link down below to the full original video for all of you to see. Having said all that, thank you all for tuning in, and we'll see you all tomorrow. The only thing we need you to do is never stop loving the Constitution.